My closet door is open. Of course it is. Hey, welcome back to my channel, girlfriend. I don't want to be here. That's why you're watching this video. Today, what we're doing, a product empty video. And when I say that, I know what you're thinking. Abby, that's boring. And you're right. It is kind of boring, not gonna lie. But you know what? Life isn't always interesting. So, uh, you can just take a step back. I'm gonna start with body products. And the first body product I'm gonna start with is this bath soak. And I know that's not, like, it's for your body. Oh, the lid's right here, if you're wondering. So, yeah. Um, this is a rose-scented bath milk, and I got it from Chapters, which is, like, Indigo, which is just a bookstore. So oh, basically, it says it's gonna give you like a Cleopatra style bath, but I don't even know what that means. And the reason why I got it is because I thought the bottle looked nice. But this, I don't think I would buy again. Like, it wasn't, the price isn't on here, I don't think, because there's like a little tag on the bottom that I took off. But I think this was like $20. And just saying, you could probably make your own rose bath soak for less than $20. Maybe. I've already used like bath soaks and like stuff. I really like Aveeno like oatmeal like bath powders because those actually like keep your skin nice and like make them not itchy because in the winter I get so itchy my skin gets all dry and I like like that's how my skin goes in the winter. So like I use the Aveeno oatmeal bath soaks like to help my dry skin. This doesn't really do anything. It just kind of makes you feel like, oh, look at me. Like, I'm putting this stuff in my bath, like, running it under the water, you know? You should be seeing, like, or feeling a difference in your skin and feeling, like, less itchy or less dry or however you feel. Oh, jeez. Would not buy again. Maybe I would recommend it if you just want to, like, keep the bottle and, like, kind of feel like, Oh, and sometimes you just want to try stuff out. So I don't know if Chapter still has this because, you know, they're on and off with their, like, random little things. But I would not buy that one again. Would not recommend. So this next product is from the Body Shop. This is the Satsuma Shower Gel. And I love the Body Shop because it's cruelty-free. Everything's vegan. So I could be making that up, though. So anyways, this was good. This thing, this was $20. No, this was $12. I got it on sale. It was $20. But this lasted me a whole year. And I really like the pump too. Because then you don't have to like in the shower. It doesn't like, it's, it's not slipping out of your hand. You can just like, but I don't think I get this again either. I have acne on my shoulders. And on my back sometimes and on my legs so I the next body wash I'm going to buy the Neutrogena body wash next because there's one called the body wash body clear and I've been seeing a lot of good recommendations for body acne with that one so I think I'm gonna go with that because my shoulders are always so red and in the summers I'm just like why uh, moving on Hey, the sun needs to actually move. I'm getting irritated with the sun. Stop. So this next product is also from the body shop. This is the vanilla chai hand cream. And I really like this one because this one smells so good. And it made my hands soft. And it did what a hand cream is supposed to do. Now, if you have eczema. Or eczema or whatever you want to call it. I wouldn't buy this just because my mom has eczema or eczema and she she needs something more intense but my hands aren't that dry so uh this worked out pretty well for me hand cream is hand cream like it's not your face like my hands don't break out well your hands can break out if you're really using something that bad so that did the job i might try a different one just because i like trying new products but uh if there's like a sale I, I might pick that up again next one we're gonna do is hair products so this hair needs some good product and up until maybe like two years ago 
I was not using the right product. The salon that I go to is just a regular salon, but they have people who are trained to cut curly hair, and that may sound really weird to people who don't really know, but you, curly hair needs to be cut dry. So, and that's because each curl is different and they'll always like have a different curl pattern. So if you dry it wet, it's gonna spring up and some curls hang in here, some curls hang in there. Like, you know, so, or like some people straighten their curly hair first and then they cut off like straight. You can't, you can't do that because the curls, the curls grow, everyone's different. Every, everyone every curl is different every curl has like less spring or more spring so anyways moral of the story is I need a lot of hair product and I need product that works so the one brand that I love is diva curl this is the only product I have from them because I was trying out a couple different things the only problem with diva curl is it's really expensive this product is fantastic I love this product so much this is from diva curl and um this product lasted me a year and I did it once a month only. You're supposed to do it once a week. This is called the Diva Curl Heaven in Hair and it's a deep conditioner. And when I put this in, my hair would go soft, make my hair less frizzy. I didn't feel the need to do this once a week because it's expensive and I was trying to save as much as I could. So this lasted me a year. So I got 12 uses out of this. Yeah buy this again the next product i love shea moisture but this product really didn't do it for me so this is the coconut and hibiscus curl and shine conditioner and so this was so watery i would not buy again and this is for thick curly hair so my hair is like a bit more thin so maybe this would be better for thicker hair. Um, this wasn't good and I also didn't really like the shampoo, the coconut and hibiscus shampoo either. I threw the bottle out, I don't know why. Next, uh, now we're gonna do some makeup. So I have two Lancome products here, Lancome, Lancome products here. And so this one was a blush and bronzer duo i don't think you guys can see that but this is a blush duo um powder blush and cream highlighter oh not blush and bronzer blush and highlighter so this was the highlighter this was the blush and the reason why i mistake i said i said i had mistaken highlighter for bronzer is because this was so dark it was just not for my skin tone like so if you were darker it would be better for you but this was not good. I didn't like this. I'm not a huge fan of cream, blush, and highlighter. Anyways, um, I moved again because the sun still in my way and making me look like a freaking ghost. So anyways, um, so these Lancome products, um, this cream product is better for mature skin. But I will say Lancome products are really nice. You have like a you have a little mirror in there. And this was one of the first makeup products I had. So obviously like I went through pretty quickly because I was putting this everywhere. Like it was just not a good look. So I wouldn't recommend, it might be good if you like natural makeup. So like cream products I like if like they're going on my bare skin. So like it might be good if you don't wear foundation or like if you don't wear concealer, like tap it on. That's good, then I would recommend. This other Lancome product I have is this little mini eyeshadow palette. So I scraped the rest out, but I literally, this was like a smoky eye kit. What I like about the Lancome eyeshadow palettes, it tells you which one's which. So it says like all over base, lid, crease, like inner corner highlight, illuminator, um, and then the liner. So this, there was a dark brown that was really nice. There was a taupe color, which is good as like a transition kind of crease shade. This was an illuminator, also really nice. This was a base shade, and then this was like another kind of lid color, which was kind of shimmery, but not as like, like sparkly, you know? But this, I would really recommend, if I could find this again, I'd buy it again. Why is this light on? That's so creepy. I didn't even turn that on. Okay, so yes, I would recommend this. This is really good, especially for like a smoky eye. So it's good for like night events. I don't go to night events, so I'm literally 17. I stay in this room and I literally do nothing. So yeah, I'd recommend this. And the reason why it's so clean is because I, uh, I cleaned it out with like a makeup wipe. 
Next, now we're gonna do skincare. So for makeup remover, I have two products. First, I have a melting cleanser, and this is the Ole Henriksen Pure Truth Melting Cleanser, the three-in-one jelly. And this was good, this did the job. So you couldn't just put this on and not be your face wash. Like you couldn't do that because this like leaves like an oily residue. So what you would do is you take this and you just put it right onto the makeup. You don't have to wet your skin or anything, which is good because you could just go in and like do it, but whatever. And so this I thought was good, but then I'd have to use a cleanser after. So I'd recommend this if you don't really mind like the residue, but it did um the, it did really take off the makeup well, but just keep in mind that you have to wash your face after. Um I would recommend this. This next product that I have is the Simple Cleansing Micellar Water. And um, so this micellar water isn't bad, but I prefer the Garnier one. And I'll tell you why, because the Garnier one's better. And that's, sorry, but I think the Garnier one's better. I think they're the same price. The Garnier one has more product in it. I just had a coupon for this one, so that's why I got it. But uh, Garnier one's better, so uh, no, I don't recommend. Like, it's fine. Like, if you have a coupon, go get this, girlfriend. Like, go save that money. But, no, I wouldn't recommend. I like the Garnier one better. Sorry, someone was just trying to call, and I don't know who it was. My parents are at my sister's basketball game right now. I'm a little high strung. I'm very scared when I'm home alone. So just, mm, mm, I just, I can't. I just get so scared, and if my mom is watching this, she's probably making fun of me because she's like, oh, Abigail, like, you're just, you're just so nervous all the time. Yes, I am, and I hope that's not an issue, because I get so scared sometimes, and, like, that's why if I pause in my videos, I go, it's because I think I hear something out there, and it's not good, because, you know, like, my dog makes noises sometimes, and that freaks me out, but, like, I don't know if there's someone trying to break into my house. Okay, yeah, so... Next, uh, <laughs> yeah, this was okay. It's a baking soda acne cleansing foam, and uh, I had a coupon for this one too, so that's why I got it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, it was okay. Like, I've tried a few cleansers. You know what? It was pretty good, but I think the foaming is just like another chemical that you don't really need. I mean, yeah, it was okay. Would I get it again? No. Try it out if you want to. If you have a coupon, go get it. But, uh, there's other cleansers that I like, so wouldn't recommend. Try it out if you really feel the need to, but yeah. Next product, girlfriend. So this, um, this I got in my Ipsy Glam bag, and this is the Propolis and Mineral Facial Scrub. It kind of burnt, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's a good thing I have the Ipsy bag, I didn't buy this full, but uh, it kind of burnt because it was salt. And when you have like the salt really gets in the like, salt in the wound is a true saying this hurts this hurts otherwise it's good I like it but there's other exfoliants out there that are good too so would I buy this no I wouldn't get this again I wouldn't recommend it hurts it burns but if you like that burn then get it if you really like that burn so the next product is this pixie glow tonic and I'm sure you guys have heard about this because this it's really good actually. It's an exfoliating toner with glycolic acid. So if that means anything to you, there you go. That's all I have to say. I really like it. That's all I have to say. I can't really say anything else. All I can say is that I really like this one. It really got the dead skin off. It really balanced out the skin. Would I buy this again? Absolutely, girlfriend. <sighs> Next. This is a pore tightening um, pearl clay mask from the ba brand Bio Race. So this was another Ipsy Glam Bag product. I wouldn't get this again. Did it tighten my pores? Yeah, but guess what else it did? It dried out. So I used maybe like, I may maybe use it two times. But this was good while it lasted and then it dried out. So no, I wouldn't get it again because if you're gonna dry out on me like that, after like a month of having it, you can just take a step aside, girlfriend, because I don't need that, I don't need that. There are a lot of other masks out there that can do the job, but this was it until it wasn't it. So no, I wouldn't recommend. Unless you have a thing for masks that dry out, then you can go get this one. Otherwise, no, don't do it. Next. So I got this Tarte Hydration Kit. It came in a kit like this at Sephora. It was like 
10 15 bucks it was a really good price it was like a 32 dollar value so this is the maracuja oil and i really like the pump it's nice and then this is the um maracuja c brightener eye treatment so this is like the eye cream drink of h2o hydrating boost moisturizer okay so this kit yeah it was good it was really good but so far, my favorite moisturizer that I've ever used is the Ginseng one from Origins. That is so good. It works well. It just, like, it just, dry skin, who? So this kit was really good. The oil was nice. If you don't like oils, don't get this because it has an oil in it. But you could always buy this just separately, just buy the moisturizer separately. And then the eye cream, eh, again, I like the Origins one. I like the Origins eye cream, the ginseng one. The ginseng eye cream and facial moisturizer, mm, best ones I've tried yet. Next, so this is the Bioderma Hydrating Serum. This, fantastic. Yes, I will get it again because it just works so well, girlfriend. Okay, and the moisturizer too, oh, bomb. Like, I love those. The ginseng and the Bioderma, I can't decide. They're both really good. So, uh, this, yes, I would recommend if you have dry skin. Oily skin, people. You can use oils and serums. It's not too oily for your oily skin. The oil deducts the oil from your skin because you're feeding its need to produce the oil. Clearly, I'm not a scientist, but I know that. So, next. So, I have two products left. So, this is the Olay Regenerous Luminous Tone Perfecting Cream. Not a fan, not gonna lie. It was a little um, drying. It's a moisturizer that was drying. So that's why I wouldn't recommend. I don't need to explain anymore. And then this First Aid Beauty. Ugh, it was so good. And this is also the last product. So uh, we're ending it off on a good note. I could have ended it off with that Olay one, but I didn't. So that's it for this video girlfriend hey look at it if you made it to the end good for you good for you you know what this information i'm giving out is free it's free and all you have to do to keep getting the information is to subscribe girlfriend subscribe i don't even have oily skin and i told you that bit about oily skin if you didn't skip that because i know some of you guys are skipping it with the little button you especially if you have your phone and you're tap 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 the 10 seconds just to I know your games. I know what you're doing. So just so Yeah, so you know what you can do now Is you can subscribe If you're not already, I mean why wouldn't you be you can turn on your notifications you can Tell people to come to see my channel spread the word about me So anyways like this video dislike the video You know what I said a few videos ago if you're really having a bad day and you want to dislike the video You know what I support you and that's how good of a person I am. So if you're disliking the video, you should probably subscribe so that you can keep disliking stuff. That's all for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Social media will be linked down below. So yeah, bye.